Hey, so I want to make a video of having a bunch of people that seem like the questions always come up about variator shimming and belt fitment. So um, this is a KN belt. It's a little bit looser than what I'd like to see. But anyways, this is how you want your, be your belt to ride in the back, okay? So there is you want to have the largest diameter back here and the smallest diameter up here in the front to give you your maximum uh, ratio for acceleration. So if your belt is sucked down here like this, you're going to lose takeoff because your diameter now is smaller in the back and larger in the front. If, you're, if your belt is, is down in your pulley like this or further in the back, that means you're further in the front. So typically your issue is, for one, it's an improper belt fitment, so you got the wrong belt on there, or your shims, they go right in here between the boss and the dry face. If you don't have enough shims in here, this distance between here and here is gonna to be too tight and it's gonna push this belt up higher. This belt is gonna ride up higher in the front. That makes sense, because your distance between here and here is smaller. This area comes together, therefore driving this belt further up along the surface of this variator. So um, again, <clears throat> this is really, really important to dial your, your transmission in. You want your, your belt to be as high up in the back as possible, and this one's probably almost borderline too high. But um, anyways, you wanna be all the way up high in the front and you wanna be down low in the back. If you're higher up here in the front because you're shimming, your boss is wrong, you've got the wrong belt, um, you're gonna lose you're gonna lose a ton of bottom end. So again, I didn't wanna take this apart just because I just did this last minute, but this is how you want your belt to sit. Right about in there, as high as possible. So that's what's gonna give you your max acceleration. So again, didn't clean this bike either, but just to show you, these are Z, these are all ZX transmissions. This one's on, these are my personal bikes, but that's my ZX rear drive, um, TFC dry face, Polini variator, Melosi belt. That's how that one sits, okay, ZX. Lack of preparation here, as you can see. Again, this is a ZX. No, this is a ZX. No, wait, this is a. It's an S pulley. Yeah, so that's a stock. <clears throat> that's a stock S pulley, so it's a little bit smaller. But again, you can see how that belt is sitting. That's how you want it to sit. So, I mean, that one could be, even be up a little bit higher, but but it's uh, pretty good where it's at. So, <clears throat> stock S transmission, Polini or uh, Melosi belts I use on all these bikes. So they just fit perfect. So. Hopefully that clarifies some things on how to shim and how important it is to shim. <clears throat> you shim too much, you shim too much in the front, and this is gonna slip way too much. It's gonna just slip, um, it's gonna slip on your acceleration. So you wanna get the shimming just right. You want this fitment to be just right. So hopefully that helps.